Hello everyone, I am so happy to see you. According to YouTube Analytics, over 70% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. If you guys want Pugsley to eat this month, I suggest you do so. Enjoy the video guys, I love you guys forever and always. Hello everyone, today I will be doing one of the, like, one of the more risky things you can do on NAR, which is buying coal as your first item. So why is this risky? Well, NAR has one of the lowest like base HP stats in the game, and with coal, we only have 540 health, which is really, really low. D-Blade usually helps us a ton in lane or D-Shield because of the 80 health that we get. That 80 health really does matter. What's like, the, the risk uh, is very good, especially if you can get through the risk because the reward is so amazing. Because one, you don't have to buy D-Blade, so you're not wasting like your the gold value on that and then you're getting free gold with coal. So if you can get through lane with coal, it's golden. So I'm doing something I usually don't do today, which is play not as aggressive. Another reason why I'm doing this is because it's a Kled. I can never play aggressive against Kled. I always suck. One about the good thing about Gnar is that you can farm pretty safely since your ranged boomerang can help you a lot. So it's okay if you miss some minions. I think that's natural, especially when you're playing back. You guys usually see me play up a lot, so it's like very weird for me to be playing back. Also with the strategy, I like to last it a lot. I usually don't push the wave. Because the main thing is to stay alive. Because early game... I think especially against Kled, you're not really the best. We're getting a good trade here though. So we take it of course, if we can get that. I think any champ that takes Ignite this is very, very hard to deal with. I think that's just natural as well. I'm actually gonna go in here, because I'm getting W. Yeah, that's a good trade. There we go, we got Skrull. Okay, I got a flash early. Yeah, I gotta play smart there. I wanna save my HP. I have too low HP for that. Basically, with the strategy, if you survive early game, you win. Like, you have like, you, you have such an advantage once your coal is finished. Plus you have TP, they have Ignite, so it's really, really good. Okay, I definitely go in here. There we go. So why I went in there, why I was scared the first time is the, because he can turn back into his original form very quickly. Once you get it the second time, I think it's easier. I'm not sure how, like, uh, Skarner really works that well, but I know if you get his, whatever it's called, Skarl two times, you should be good. So that's why I went in there. I was confident. So yeah, we went cold first. So, I mean, this is playing smarter. Like, this is probably how you should play Gnar, even if it is just with D-Blade, but my play style usually is to play aggressive, so I always push the wave, so I don't know. But playing smart like this is good. So I'm gonna just build straight into boots and then I'll just buy ruby crystal pots. I know it's a boring buy, but it's the best way to play, isn't it? Boots are very OP on that early. So another thing that I did this game, which I shouldn't have, I'm so used to taking demolish, so I just took demolish. I should have taken like a conditioning or something like that. I can get a pretty good trade here. Oh, tower shot, perfect. It's an amazing trade. I'm confident with this. Yep, there we go. Even I, I missed my what still on that. That's how confident I was. Okay, I'm gonna try to get demolished and then get out. What is that minion doing there? Riot? It bugged? Okay, let's get this demolish get out of here because I do not want to get ulted by Nocturne. I don't know if Nocturne's level 6 yet, but I'm not taking the risk. Okay, I would usually want to buy uh, Axe here, but I'll just go Sheen. So one bad thing about the strategy, I feel like, is that uh, my CS usually is not better when I would do this strategy because I'm playing back more whenever I'm playing up. I think it's easier to get CS, so that's one of the cons of this strategy, I feel like. Unless you're just a god at CS, but I'm not. Just kite, that's why boots are OP. Not bad, we take that. 
let's get Skarl, Ult, W, Q, Auto, Auto, nice, got him right before his form, we take that, again, I'ma just push, I'ma get another Demolish, if, if Nocturne's here then, oh well, he hasn't showed for a long time, I'm gonna try to get two plates, he doesn't have TP, I have Hop, let's try to get this, I mean he's probably coming for me, so I might as well commit now while I'm here. There we go, two plates, and then I'll clear the wave, and then if I can, I'll get out, but I'm most likely dead here. Okay, I think I might be able to get out. Yeah, let's get out of here. This is a greedy back as well. Let's see if he catches it. I think I'm good. Okay, now we can buy axe. Huge. I'll TP. Okay, that is bot lane 100%. Now, I'm okay to play aggressive now. I'm pretty confident. Yeah, too easy. There we go. Got him right before he transformed. Let's go. We got his ignite as well. Perfect. Okay, now we go full aggressive here since we know Nocturne does not have ult. We go and get all plates. Dang, 4 0. Maybe I should try this strategy more often. Maybe my strategy is bad in just playing aggressive. Okay, there we go. All plates, I'm out. Okay, once we get our coal, we are honestly golden because that will be. 350 gold and that basically means we got this coal for free once we do that so it's a free 7 ad free three life still so we definitely take it there we go guys thing again pike is here yeah just auto him don't you need to risk using abilities there there we go. Nice. So I'll push this. I'll try to get tower again and go full offensive. We push the wave as fast as possible. And then yeah, let's try to get this tower. I think this is first tower as well, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. That ult isn't on me. There's first tower. Let's get out. Let's get our first item. There we go. We got Trinity. Now we build towards classic cleaver. Cleaver is honestly the safest item that you can build whenever you're ahead. Okay, Kled roll mid. Maybe I can catch him. Oh wait, that didn't kill. I thought I had enough damage. Oh well, I'll get these plates mid. I think my damage is bugged, what the heck? There we go, I got a plate. Okay, got a free ult, not bad. Oh, that's probably a horrible idea. Okay, I'm dead. I should have never helped this year, but it's okay. We got one. There we go, I'll have my coal, finally. Okay, I just need like 100 more gold and then I have Cleaver. I think that's a kill. Nice. Let's kill Dre then. There we go, good play. I got caught by Thresh Hook, but it's fine. What the heck? Power shots, what the heck? Okay, it's fine. This tower should be gone. Okay, I should really probably get out. I have 2200 gold. I'm being too greedy. Okay, I got cleaver, not bad. And then I'll build some armor. I'll probably go death stance since I'm ahead this game. I usually wouldn't build death stance, but since I'm really ahead and I'm snowballing, I'll build it. Okay, I think we kill Dragon here easily. Let me go kill Thresh. Just auto. There we go. Pretty easy. Okay, I'm gonna go help Master Yi. There we go. Nice. And then I'll push this. Use my Demolish. 
this tower should be free. Honestly, I don't need to use my Demolish. I'll let Master Yi take it so I can use my Demolish on the next turret. I don't think anyone will be here to answer me as well. Actually, Draven is. Does, doesn't matter. Look how much damage. Boom. Boom, look at that damage, baby. No hook. Too easy, baby. I knew he had no hook. Okay, I'm not really scared of Thresh. I'll just get this. Okay, I'm probably dead. Okay, you know what? We got a lot there, though, so not bad. Okay, I can get pickaxe, coal. Builds. Um, I need 300 gold for Death Stance, not bad. And we got Drag, we're on Soul Point now, so I, wanna, I mean, we take that. And what, who got the bounty? Cled, I'm not too worried. If I'm just worried if Draven gets the uh, bounty, that's all I'm worried about. Also, this Malzahar is a hold breaker. Is that, is that the new meta? I honestly think they should just FF. I don't know if they have a chance. Maybe they do. Maybe since it's like we're getting all the drags early, maybe uh, they can coin flip like uh, an Elder. But other than that, I don't know. But I'll probably just get one more wave and then go get Death Stance. I'm gonna try to kill Clyde. There we go. That was all hard here. Cringe. Ah, oh, so close. It's stupid Holdbreaker. That's what did it. I couldn't kill. I didn't. I couldn't kill Bowser because of it. So thank you. It's okay. We have three items. Man, they both have Holdbreaker. Maybe I should just build Holdbreaker to them. There we go. Got him right before his form. Oh. My turn's here. I didn't even notice. <laughs> I think I win this. Yeah. Trinity's too broken, baby. And we got some value from our Death Stance there, too. Death Stance and Triumph together. That's kind of really good. That's a lot of healing. Oh, easy 2v1. I mean, I'll just, uh... I'll just build towards Sterax. I can think about building Holebreaker while I'm building towards it though. I don't think I really need Holebreaker since we already have most of the towers, right? So, I think I'm good. Okay, they're definitely coming mid. I'm here to help them. Get Thresh first. There we go. Oh, I'm very slow inside of this. It's okay. There we go. Team should have it. There we go. Not bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna use my demolish just yet. I'm gonna wait until next towers. Just so uh, we can pretty much take everything. Miles will probably ult me here, but it is what it is. Yeah. I think I'm dead. Oh my god. I can't believe I died there. Are you serious? I guess I should have just used my demolish. Okay, I'm keeping to this. Is my team gonna help me? Okay, there we go. Double kill. Not bad. Okay, Thresh should be dead. There we go. And then Draven should be pretty easy. There we go. Not bad. I'm not gonna push because Mal's the one's up, and I'm pretty sure Mal's can literally one shot me with just one ult press, so I'm not, I don't wanna deal with that. I'm gonna go get Sterax. Then I guess I'll build some MR. I guess I have to. I guess I'll build towards what's in. A17 kills, not, not a bad game. My investment with Cole, I guess, was worth it. Like, early game went pretty well, so mid game, it's so good now. Pretty sure I can easily get knocked from here. There we go. I don't even want to use ult here. There we go. I would like to use ult on Draven. There we go. Just guaranteed get Draven. There we go. Fresh. There we go. Unironically, the whole Breaker Malzahar is the main problem, but there we go. FF. Let's go to damage charts.
there we go. I think we won B9 this game. 45k damage, 17 kills. Early game was amazing. I think that's why, honestly, I don't know if it was cold, but cold definitely helped me get to, towards my second item very quickly. My second item to third item, 24's Black Cleaver Death Dance. I was just able to get so ahead, like early game went very, very well. I guess the playstyle is kind of weird because since you have lower health, you can't really, it's harder to play, you can play more aggressive, but it's harder to play more aggressive, so staying back is a lot better, especially against the uh, champ against Kled that has Ignite, it's like really hard to defeat that early. But yeah, I guess that just proves how underrated and how good Cole is as a starting item on Nar. So the one thing I would change this game, well actually I got a lot of value off my Demolish, so before going into this game, I probably would have taken Conditioning, but Demolish honestly gave me good value, so. Honestly, I don't regret taking anything or changing anything in this game. So yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I love you guys forever and always. Bye-bye.